Hi, everybody. Hello. Uh, so, so last one we'll be playing Tomb Raider Definitive Edition today. Yeah. Uh, Is there another edition than Definitive? Apparently. It's like, it's like Director's Cut or something? Uh, kinda. This is sort of a typical thing a lot of studio do. They sort of release a re-release a game if it's been popular enough. Uh, but yeah, presumably there was another one. I don't know. I ordered this recently, right? You're the one yes. who wanted to play this. I didn't want to play this. I wanted to see you play it. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, where did you see the trailer for the new movie that uh, sort of prompted this whole playing Tomb Raider thing? Uh, it was when we went... Uh, what was the last movie we saw? Um, yeah, Blade Runner. Yeah, 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 Blade Runner. I was so afraid they would show like a trailer of something I wanted to see, but I didn't want to see the trailer for, which you always do, usually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but no, that was uh, the trailer for Tomb Raider. Yeah. And I was like, oh my god, that's another girl. It's not uh, Angelina Jolie. Yeah. Who's that girl? I like her. Yeah. And, and I pointed out that this looked a hell of a lot like the new Tomb Raider game that I had yet to play. So uh, let's see what this is. I actually know and... very little about this game, so that's going to be interesting. <laughs> I know nothing about the well, game. Fair enough. It's a game. A famous explorer once said, "It is extraordinary is in what we do, not who we are." Hmm. I finally set out to make my mark. To hide she has a cell phone on a boat. But instead. Yeah, for sure. It's the modern world. Do you know? Like, no, there's no cell phone coverage anywhere in the world like this. Like, Maybe it's a cell phone. Yikes. I mean, in the old Tomb Raider, she was like super rich, right? She was like crazy rich. Yeah, but cell phones, the last time I used a cell phone was a huge piece of equipment. Like, it was so huge that uh, no one wanted to carry it around. It was heavy and it was awkward, clunky. Yeah. All right, then maybe she's right next to the coast. I mean, she's gonna survive this presumably, so she can't be in the middle of Looks the ocean. Looks bad. Oh God. So my understanding of the game is that. This is very representative, and it's gonna be like the entire game is gonna be just her being mistreated by everything. <laughs> oh yes, I do remember seeing the the trailer for for this movie. It was I, I think it was uh, when we were watching like an E three or something like that. Oh, you mean for for the game? Yeah, for the game. Sorry, yeah, for the game. And the whole time was her just like jumping and falling. Jumping and falling. falling and getting hurt over and, and over again. Somewhere. Yeah. I don't know if the entire game is gonna be like this. We'll see. Well, it it doesn't look anything like. It looks like it. Yeah. It doesn't look like a happy-go-lucky adventure. Let's put it not like yet. that. Not yet. Not yet. But you were right. She was uh, close to the coast. What's going on? I don't know, it's so dark. I have a hard time seeing. I think that's the point. I know it's the point, but it's always like a problem. Oh, jeez, sucker punched! <laughs> sucker punched? Or, like, I feel it was just like something with nails, like. I think like she got a... sucker punched. This is great. Man, she doesn't get in a break. Oh god. Have you started playing or it's just No, like no, this is still cutscenes. This is a lot of cutscenes actually. The cocoon type deal thing. I I feel like she was upside down there. Yeah. Okay. Oh god. Do we know where she is? I have... Give or take in the world? Oh, she's upside down. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> there, that's where she is. She's upside down. Uh, this was reminding me a lot of uh, Fury Road. You know the opening of Fury Road? 
the opening itself. Yeah, yeah, like he's in the cave, he's oh, upside yes, down, yes, he's yes, the blood yes. bank. Yeah. Okay, well, I've got marginal control of the situation. But you're tied up. Yeah, but I can sort of swing you're a myself. Piece of meat. That's why I said marginal. No kidding. Use the fire. I... Burn the rope. It's... I'm guessing that's what I gotta do, but before everything burns down and there's no more fire. I got that. There, there we go. you go. Burn, baby, burn. <laughs> oh oh my God, rebar to the side. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be like five hours of torture porn, isn't it? <laughs> oh. Ah! Ouch! Jeez, Louise. Okay. There was a lot of people on the beach up there, yeah. right? And she's the only one. Oh no, she's not the only one. Down, down the cave. You know what? I really hope she gets like we get very satisfying revenge. After so all after of this. After the torture porn, it's revenge porn. Yeah, like well, kinda <laughs> like very Tarantino-esque of. Have you even checked the guy if he was alive? Uh... Oh, that's I didn't bother. So sorry, I sort of missed something. Objects in white wrapped in bright light can be light. lit on fire. Okay, presumably I need fire to light it with. It's all about the fire. There we go. <laughs> okay. little, little fire meter goes up. It's kind of weird. It's super realistic and then you just have this random little meter that goes up. Realistic. Ah. Oh well, the, visually it looks. Yeah, I, I like the water, like how they made the. Like that. Water and yep. Oh, I lost my torch. That's fine. I can just relight it, right? Yeah, but you have to hold it there. Damn. Survival instincts. Yeah, something I don't have. Burn everything. Probably is explosive or something. Look, there's a barrel with... Uh, yeah, I know, red barrel. You'd think I could blow this up. Red barrel with the triangle? Like, please don't uh, don't, uh, don't get go. it close to any flame. Well, I think that's actually going to blow up. Yes! So they're teaching me red barrels explode. As if it's not something that well, in, was kind of obvious. In the real obvious. world, it would explode. Just... Yes! It's a bit of a video game convention that red barrels go boom. I don't know. Ah, uh, this is not good. Okay, uh, this looks fine. Ah! Stop Kick him! Struggling. Oh. oh, close enough. I was trying to help you. So he says. I don't like this. You know, a lot of water. I don't like water that much. Oh god. That's not comfortable. No, no, no. And with the fire <sighs> at the top. Well, that makes sense. It's just that I'm... I don't like water. Fair I'm enough. afraid of water in real life. Yeah, well, we're out of it. Yay! Woo! Find a way out. <laughs> Not again. More red barrels that go boom. See, they taught me something. Now they're making sure I know about it. It goes boom in the night. Actually, see, I can't... That's an interesting little puzzle. I'm not going to be able to take my torch through there. Nope. I'm going to have to come down this slide. But there's something uh, close to um, the slide. There were, like, a gate? I don't know what that's going to do, but... Ah, uh, sure, whatever. You could, uh, could uh, oh. lit the other one, yeah. So it's like... It's something to float on water. Or... 
Oh, eventually. We'll just see where this goes. I can't remember the name for that thing that floats on water that's not a boat. It's a raft. A raft! Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> This is mighty Hit convoluted. It. Wait. Harder! Uh, I need to do something else. Oh, yeah, I figured that out. Uh, there's red barrels down there. Or something. Wait, what do I do? On the other side, maybe? Oh, maybe I can do this. Huh. Yep! Well, you saw in the first scene that all she does is either drown or jump. Oh no, I can crawl, I can light stuff on fire. Uh... Wait. Burn it. Burn that thing. Burn what thing? I don't know, burn everything. I can burn these things. Get the barrel there to burn it. Okay. I can catch that box on fire. You have to be patient. Okay, so now I can presumably. Where are the barrels? Wait, it's not on fire anymore. Yeah, it's gone. It's going away. Oh, it's Bye! gone. Yeah, but it's just gonna go through the waterfall. That's not yep. helpful. So I can do this that raises. So I thought I would have to raise the gate to let the box through, right? Now the box is there. Yeah, but... So now the boxes can go through, but them being on fire doesn't help. I'm mildly confused here. I feel so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like an idiot! Welcome in my world! This is the very first puzzle, and it's like pure failure. Oh, wait! You were a... They, wait, how, how did the boxes get there? Uh, because when you, you lift uh, the, the thing that was in the water up, uh, yep. it was uh, it emptied itself in that thing there. Oh, okay. That vocabulary well, was awesome. Like, when you did that, the, yeah, there were boxes yeah, yeah. in So this. those boxes, yes, now they tip inside of there. Tip there. Yeah. Now I can, I can make them go on fire, then hit them into the slide that's gonna make things go boom and then I'm gonna be able to move on to the next part of the level. Okay, well let's... Whatever you say. <laughs> oh, I see. Right? Catch on fire. Yeah. And then boom. Well, get out of there. Oh, I got XP. I wonder what... Okay. Whoa. Ah! No! Not again! Oh, that's the slide that, that I saw in the... Um, yeah. And the trailer for that game at the E3 or... I can't remember exactly what was the convention, but like it was one of those conferences yeah. uh, with, a, with a bunch of like new titles. Okay. Yeah! This is kind of exciting, I guess. Not again! Oh, that's not good. Are you dead? I, I pressed the wrong button. So, we'll see you guys next time! <laughs> <laughs> see ya!